Hey guys, Daniel here and back with another of my how-to videos and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can mirror the screen from your iPhone to your Fire TV. Um, I've got the Fire TV Cube here. This will work with your Fire TV stick. Just what you need to make sure is, you need to make sure your phone and your Fire TV stick or cube is connected to the same wireless network. So if you've got a router at home provided by your internet service provider, they're both on the same network, it'll work absolutely fine. And another important thing is you need to make sure your Fire TV is fully updated the latest software and also your iPhone is as well. So my iPhone here is running iOS 15 and this is the latest version here. So let's get started. So what we need to do first is we need to go along to the settings icon. Now and then we need to go down to display and audio and just simply go down to dis enable display mirroring this will load up this page it'll tell you what your Fire TV is called so mine is Live Room Fire TV Cube just to make things easier so I've got a few of them and then on your iPhone scroll up from the bottom to bring the control center up now you may have more or less icons here depending how you have set it up but it's the same procedure and there's an icon here with two rectangles diagonally click that and as you can see on here, living room TV has appeared. It'll take a few seconds to connect, depending on how fast your Wi-Fi is, but this is connected. Now the first time you connect, it, it may it will show a passcode, a four-digit passcode on the TV that you can enter. But because I've connected before, it just works out of the box. So as you can see, it's very responsive and would allow you to sh share your screen off your phone literally on a big TV like this. So if you've got family and friends around or you use it for a business, it's ideal. Um, to end display mirroring, you literally go up, you go down to control center again and you would tap that button and then stop. I'll show you that in a second. Um, if you want to make the volume from the phone more on the TV, so if, if, say if the sound is too quiet, this scroll up here increase that and that'll make the volume, the sound coming from the phone more on your TV. I guess they've made that feature so whatever you play on your phone, it's low at the start and then you can increase it if you need to, otherwise it might be like super loud. I guess that's why they've done that. So back to if you want to end the display mirroring, you simply click that icon again and you go stop mirroring. So that stopped mirroring on the phone and then this is still up and just press back back on the on the remote yes I want to end it right thanks for watching guys and if you've got any questions or problems let me know in the comment section